What is up? Today is Tuesday, February 1st. This is your LA in a Minute. And today I want to talk about the history of 405 Freeway. The 405, also known as the San Diego Freeway, is actually an auxiliary route of the I-5, running 72.4 miles from Irvine to San Fernando. With 374,000 vehicles per day in some stretches, it is the busiest and most congested freeway in the entire United States. So the 405 freeway was approved as an interstate with federal funds in 1955. Construction began in 1957 with the first section, mostly north of LAX, completed in 1961. And by the way, the San Diego freeway was originally known as the 7. Perhaps the most famous or infamous section of the freeway is the Sepulveda Pass. For centuries, the region's Tongva people had hiked a footpath through Sepulveda Canyon, and in 1769, the Gaspar de Portola Exposition followed that ancient trade route on their way to Monterey. The trail formally became a road in 1875 when the two wheat barons of the San Fernando Valley, Isaac Lankersham and Isaac Newton Van Nuys, widened the footpath to allow for the passage of sturdy wagons laden with grain and bound for ships docked at the Santa Monica Pier. This road eventually became the four-lane Sepulveda Canyon Boulevard, which opened in 1930 and was hailed in the Los Angeles Times as a new and wondrous highway over the mountains. Sepulveda Canyon Boulevard opened with a 650-foot tunnel beneath the summit at Mulholland Drive, but by the time automobile traffic started flowing, the road was already inadequate. The only solution at that point was to tear Sepulveda Canyon Boulevard apart and rebuild it to allow a superhighway to be named the Sepulveda Freeway to pass through. Beginning in August 1860, earth movers carved a gorge 1,800 feet wide and 260 feet deep through the mountains in only two years. Finally, on December 21st, 1962, the eight-lane 405 freeway opened through the Sepulveda Pass with a ribbon cutting, a caravan of cars, and L.A. Mayor Sam Yorty arriving via helicopter to kick off the festivities. Motorists immediately flooded the northbound and southbound lanes above Sunset Boulevard. And in a sign of things to come, traffic backed up for more than a mile, causing the route's first SIG alert, something we've become all too accustomed to over the last 60 years. A couple of interesting notes about the 405 as well. The 40510 interchange was designed by Marilyn Jorgensen Reese, who was the first woman in California to be registered as a civil engineer. The 405 also played a major role in the Al Cowling's O.J. Simpson White Bronco chase in 1994. And in 2011, a 10-mile stretch was actually shut down for Carmageddon, but it didn't stop them from having a great meal.